Hey everybody, welcome back to Unpinned Creative. It's Karen here and today I'm going to be working in my house journal. Doing a wee page. If you saw the video um, I posted with my junk journal collection, um, you would have seen this one in there. I haven't worked in it for probably oh, six months, so I'm going to do a page in it today. I have this ephemera that I made, um, I would like to stick it in this journal now. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to pop it down onto this page. I am going to put tissue over the background. I love using tissue. I use it a lot. To do that, I use clear gesso, and this is a homemade clear gesso, um, which is basically just Mod Podge, cornstarch, and water. And it works really well, and I love it. So the way I like to lay tissue down is obviously removing all the plies apart from the single printed ply. And then I... Get the lid off my gesso, which I can't, so I need help. Okay, once you get the lid off, your gesso, clear gesso, don't use white gesso. Um, I just cover the whole page, or wherever I want my tissue to go. And actually what I should have done is removed this from the book. Otherwise, it's going to get covered. And it'll be much easier to work on, won't it? Okay. So I put a good coating over the whole page. You can use Mod Podge, obviously. I think you can even use glue stick. Um, I find something that's quite thin, like this clear gesso, works really well. And then I am going to pop it down. Now, I'm not fussed about wrinkles. I like wrinkles. And then I put another layer, a good layer over the top. You want to make sure when you're putting your tissue down that your brush stays wet because otherwise you will tear the tissue, um, which I don't actually mind because I'm usually doing grungy pages anyway, so I don't mind a bit of torn tissue here and there, but The trick is to keep your brush wet and then it just glides over the top. Okay, some point. <laughs> if you don't keep your brush wet, you get tears like that. So I'm just going to pull it off. Stop touching it. Put my gesso away. Okay, now I'll give that a dry and then I will tear the extra tissue off. Okay, I think that's dry enough for me. So it's not completely dry, but it's dry enough to work with. So I'm just going to tear off the excess. Make more of a mess of my page. Do 
There we go. I might just try that a little bit more actually. Okay, that's better. It's a bit more dry now. So, yep, I quite like that. I think I'll just put some ink around maybe just those two edges. And I'll just use good old vintage photo. Right, I'm quite happy with that. I just want a really plain and simple background because this has got a lot going on and it's about to have even more going on. So I am going to glue that down. I'm only going to glue it down on those three sides because then I can use the back of it as another pocket, although I've already got three pockets there. If you've got another pocket, you may as well use it. So... I'm just going to use my Helma 450, which is my favourite glue, but whatever glue you have, a good strong glue. that down until it grabs okay now if you saw the first video I posted on this channel um, just over a week ago I think um, it is in the junk journal playlist um, I can't remember what it was called but I made a journal for my best friend who lives in Australia and um, which is uh, near New Zealand but you know <laughs> Still a plane flight away um, and it was a bee and Pooh bear themed journal and so I wanted to I have some of the honey pots that I made for that journal left over so I want to use those in the pockets um, sort of as a reminder of creating that journal for her because I really loved it and she really loves it so um it's i think it will be cool to have sort of something in my journal that reminds me of that journal that i created so these i just or i made made three stencils and then cut them out with this with scissors um in a honey pot kind of shape and in various different colors so i'm going to decorate those and then pop them into here this one is very plain so I think I'm going to cover that with um, book page and I have a Winnie the Pooh book which is what I created her journal out of. I have the pages that I tore out of it here so I think I'll use some of those. Alright so for that I can just use glue stick.
and if I make sure the edges are really well pressed down then I should be able to cut around both sides in one go because I can see the honey pot. Cool. Now I am going to ink around that. In the Pooh Bear journal, I used wild honey for all of the um, inking. Okay, and now it looks a bit more like a honey pot. By doing that shading around the top there, it kind of um, enhances the illusion of that being a lid. And then, so I think this will be the front. I'll keep this just for um, journaling space. I'll ink around it. go do you have a piece of paper okay and now to pop something on here we also have some of the papers that I used in the book I looked everywhere for a honeycomb stencil when I was making the journal and could not find one for the life of me but as um, per Murphy's law I found one yesterday so I, I'm going to use it for this there we go When I'm sticking vellum down, because um, it's pretty tricky, um, so I, I just use a clear glue around the edges because you, the likelihood is that you will see the glue. what we have so far and then what does it need the other thing I have is this sheet of um, images for fussy cutting that I actually bought new I, it was, I bought two sheets of scrapbooking paper new for that particular journal I don't usually do that I usually only use recycled stuff but I saw the images and loved them so much um, that I really wanted to use them in the journal so 
I did and I think I'll use something from here on the front the awesome thing about this sheet is it's double-sided so for example I wanted to use her but I thought oh no she's facing the wrong way then I remembered it's double-sided so I can use that side so I will cut that out so I don't have the patience for proper fussy cutting so that is as good as it gets <laughs> but I am going to go around the edges with some tea dye distress ink and that will do right she's going on there and I'm gonna call that good enough That is the front journaling space and then the book page on the back. So on the page, this one will probably go in here. Something like that. And then I'm thinking this green one will go in here, like that. So let's do something with this. I really love the green, so I don't want to cover it all up. Um, I will ink the edges with wild honey though. I don't think I'll do the inside this time. Oops, I need to do the lid. Okay. Now to decorate. You know what I might do? Yep. So I might just pop that on there like a little label and then decorate that. I quite like that. So that's quite cool and then do 
some more fussy cutting. I think I might start calling it unfussy cutting because I am very not fussy about it. Find a little bit of lace I'm just going to go with that. Pop a bit of glue down. Doesn't need to be a lot. flower on and I'm happy with that so that can go in there we want her poking out that's it and now we just have the big one What am I going to do for the big one? I will start with inking. Okay, so I've inked up both sides of that one and now to decide what I'm going to do. Okay, more fussy cutting. All right. So I have got this, I'll get that stencil again.
I think I'm just going to keep it really simple and do that. Oh, I can't remember how I hid it. Oh, I definitely want him on the... There we go. I could jazz that up a bit more obviously, um, but sometimes I really just like simplicity and I think with everything else that I have going on, on this page, <laughs> simplicity is good. So that's it, I'm going to pop that in here. You're not going to see that little bee, but it'll be a nice surprise. Repunch the holes in the page. And pop that back in my journal. Here we go. So I think that's a lovely page um, to remind me of the journal that I made a few weeks ago for my very, very good friend. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you again next time. Bye.